Hi, it's John here from Speedy Brick. And as you've probably seen, I've been working on a couple of mocks, one for a um, Mercedes F1 car and another for a Ferrari F1 car. And as while I've been doing this, I've been I've ordered some parts and I'm waiting for those to come. And I really kind of wanted to, to, to finish off the designs. And so I started learning about how to use the Lego Studio software. So I thought I would go through a bit of the process of what I did to make these two models in Studio and uh, also in the part designer software to add the logos. So actually I'm gonna make the instructions as well uh, and try and get someone to create uh, the decals for me so that I can finish off these models in, uh, you know, as a, as a physical model. And uh, so I thought I'd get started. I've got my computer running here and I'm gonna try and capture the, um, the recording from the screen. So I've got up on, the, up on the screen, I've got studio and here's just kind of a blank canvas. And I've got a bunch of different uh, models to show uh, what, stages, what stages I got to and um, I thought I would just quickly show kind of some of the stages of, of building. So when you when you get started, you, you obviously need to start somewhere. So you can start with a plate. And in this case, I'm gonna go for a, um, a four by 10 uh, plate. And you can just grab that. Oh, sorry, that's a brick uh, plate. Um, and then you, you wanna make that a color so you can decide what what color you want. So that's your, your, that's your starting point. And from there, you can import all the parts that you want. And uh, I'll go and show a little bit later uh, how you can also add a decal to it. So, um, and this is a bit early in the process, so I can, can show where I got up to uh, from the beginning. Uh, so if we swap to, to this model, um, you can see there's quite a lot of sophistication in in the build and you can look at kind of each step uh, through through the building process what's what's included in each step right? and because this is how I've been experimenting with it uh, you can see that some steps have no bricks and so forth right uh, so I got a little bit further along the the process with it and here I've I've added a logo on the front here. I found I found a piece for that uh, from from one of the Lego sets. So so that was quite good. Uh, and you can see there's still quite a lot of errors and mistakes that I've been making here. So these pieces are transparent, and that means that they're kind of illegal. They won't work correctly. So I'll, that's something I'm going to have to fix. Uh, and there's these pieces here aren't on angles yet. Um, and so forth. So, and I've learned very recently that this black uh, is not the right black. So you can go up here and change your change your colors. And if you go down to uh, where is it? Special blacks. Here we have rubber black. So we can change the tires to to rubber black. And then when you go to do a render you'll see that that is, is more accurate than a render. Uh, so that's that's kind of where I, where I got up to. Um, and then if I look at um, kind of a bit further down the process, I started um, to, to add some logos and, and, and so forth. And I've changed the construction quite a lot. So if you look at this, this is all, these are all uh, slopes. Uh, these slopes are facing up and these are facing out. Um, and then I wanted to get a bit more shape in there. So when I was looking at the, the pictures of the real car, I could see that this was much more of a, a slope with a very long um, uh, shoulder in the, in the car. And then it was sloping down quickly and I couldn't find the right part for that. Um, so that, that was kind of 
um, bit of a challenge. And then I found this piece, and I don't have this piece, uh, this particular slope, I don't have that in my set, in any of my parts. So I couldn't make that in real, but I could find find that in uh, on the studio. And interestingly, it wasn't in the um, uh, the part designer software, so I couldn't find that. And the other thing I did was I found this part. Uh, this it's quite a it's a relatively new piece, and it came with a Speed Champion set uh, in 2023. Uh, and this was on the McLaren, and it was available in black and in orange and left and right. Uh, but this is not in studio, so I wanted to use this piece to to replicate on the side pod of the the car, left and right. So until that piece is available in studio, I've had to I've had to use this piece here instead. And so when I get to the kind of the, the end result is I've uh, just changed this slightly to bring it more forward to replicate more what I've done with this. And it's not perfect, but it, it, it's what it, what it is. And I've added a whole lot of logos uh, onto, onto the front end here. So when you go, um, and you want to create something with a logo, you you can do this with this. Um, I'll just move move this to the side. Uh, you can see I've worked on a Ferrari here as well. So I'll just go to the Mercedes version, and I've got a whole lot of parts here that are created to to cover the these pieces. So, um, for example, let's see to uh, to this piece here. I just grab that piece there. So it comes out as white. You can change the um, the color of it to 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 what you want. In this case, um, I wanted it black because it's part of the the front wing. And I'll just show you what it looks like. So it's this piece of the wing here, and I've added this logo onto it. So we can go up uh, to the uh, part designer software. And, and load that up and hopefully this will show up on the video as well otherwise I'll show it uh, separately might still let me open it let's see if it works on the video otherwise I've got to record this whole thing again <laughs> <Just be playing. laughs> um, but uh, just to just to 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 show how how it works we can go and find that uh, that same piece which is this one I can zoom in on it. Uh, so if we want to to do this, we go and we go and import a a piece. We go and it's quite quite flexible, and there's lots of pieces in, uh, there. Uh, we can go to um, wedge plate, uh, which is what we've got there. We can just take that and add it in. So we'll do. Kind of do the other side but uh it always puts it in the same place we'll go and grab it and uh bring it up here so now we can reorientate it and we want to make we want to add that patronus logo in there so i've saved uh or created a, a whole lot of different um logos which i, I can show as well but um, so we just place it there. Now we want to change the size of it because this is uh, only going to be a small, um, a small logo. So down the bottom here, we can change the, the size and then we click on it. We put it into the position we want. Uh, and here it's a little bit fiddly. So we can go up here and, and change it slightly. So we can go 12.1. Uh, no, 12.2, is that made it about right? Looks a bit right, but it's probably still a bit too long. So we can change the dimension of it to, to two. And we want to line it up with the other one. And then we click yes. Okay, that's where it is. So we'll grab that and then we can export it to the studio. 
and we give it a name and I've been calling all these things uh, by what they are. Um, I keep the description of the piece and then I'm just adding in some, some details. So this is the Mercedes front wing and, um, and then I've made several versions of this so I'll just make it five because I don't know how many versions I've made of this to get to the right place. And then uh, this will then be um, available here somewhere. Uh, so because I've given it a number, it should be, it should appear here somewhere. Right wing. That's it there. So we can just, that's the new one I just made. We can bring it in and we can uh, recolor it. And so you can see that it's a, a pair. And that piece is going here. So we get our kind of our full wing with logos, much like what I found on the internet as the proper li livery for, for, the, for the cars. So that's what I wanted to show. Um, this model I've now created a rendering for. Uh, from from a bunch of different angles and hopefully I can um, I can show that as well and so um, we've got uh, this is kind of the three-quarter view and hopefully um, hopefully we can you can see that and so this is part of the rendering software so if I go and I can show how that works so uh, you've got a lot of different options. You can even do animations with this, which is really cool. You can change to a solid background or a transparent background. Uh, and these are my standard defaults. So I'm going for a medium quality because it takes a lot of time. Uh, if you go for a higher quality, uh, you can um, have a transparent background. I quite like this dawn effect. And there's a huge number of different sizes that you can choose for. Uh, I went for the bigger sizes early on and I just found that it took really a lot of time and because I'm still experimenting, working out what I want, um, I've gone for this kind of middle middle point for it. I've taken all the presets, but you can you can have custom sets there as well. You can change the orientation, uh, you can change the size and so forth. Uh, if you can set up a whole lot at once and run through and create a queue for them and then they'll run in sequence. Uh, don't turn them all on at once because your computer will slow down. Uh, I just recently purchased this um, new MacBook Pro uh, with the M3 chip. And I can tell you that if you do an animation uh, in this, with this number of pieces, it's, this has got 250 odd pieces, uh, it takes 10 hours to, even with this super fast computer, it takes a long, long, long time to do any kind of proper animation uh, sequences. So you've got a whole lot of different ones you can set up here with frame rates and uh, whether you have the building sequence on, whether you have rotation, um, and you can change your lighting effect. And, and there's really lots that, that you can do. Um, and I would say that all the animations I've done so far have been a fail. Uh, it's either taken way too long in my you know, in the middle of the thing, uh, something's gone wrong, uh, or it's been kind of half, <laughs> half right, half wrong. So I've still got to experiment with this until I get kind of a, a reasonable amount of time and uh, and the set uh, looks good on the end result. Um, so so um, I've still got quite a lot to learn on that. But I've got to say, I'm really happy with the end result of this car. Uh, and I, uh, on an earlier version, I did make an instruction set, and that's where I kind of went through and, and reorganized all these um, steps. So that's the kind of the building process um, where, you, where you, you see just the pieces that are from each step. And so now with this model, I have to reorganize that. Um, and that's that's not too difficult. It's just going through and saying these pieces, I'm going to put them in another step. Uh, and then, so you, you can also go through the entire model and, uh, and
and say, okay, well, at this stage, I've done this much and so forth. So, and this is, um, on this particular model, uh, I've been changing so many things and re, because this is where I've added all these parts, um, all the decal parts. So effectively, I've got to strip all those parts off this version and remake the car just without logos and then I can create the instruction set. So once I've done that, I'll uh, I'll put it all together and I'll create an instruction set and use the renderings that I've done to uh, to add to the instructions as well. And uh, so I hope, hope you've enjoyed this little kind of explanation about this process that I'm going through with the, the models themselves and using studio and using part designer uh, to create the outcome that I'm, that I'm, kind of, that I'm looking for. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, see you later. Bye.